hello and welcome to the channel um, in the previous video I showed you the use of the neural compute stick more videos uh, on an Intel based computer uh, and it was running quite hard as it's now but moreover the image had a very long bad latency and it wasn't able to do very fast well uh, I then decided, okay, I want to try it on Raspberry Pi. And I used the stream infer and it demo of made in, it was written in Python and it required a separate USB webcam. I got it working, but it was really, really slow and had a lot of problems. I'm using the Raspbian Stretch latest uh, version, which is supported, the vers latest version, which is supported by the SDK. Uh, for the OpenCV, I had problems with the one that came with the either with the latest versions or the ones that came with the SDK. Uh, as I wanted to write the same stream infer demo using SqueezeNet uh, on just not using Python but using C, uh, or actually C plus plus, and I was. Uh, having some problems with the OpenCV, got a lot of them with different versions and then I just put Synaptic to the stretch and install the latest version I can get from the Synaptic Package Manager and use that open, also OpenCV libraries instead and uh, with a few bug corrections which I found from some nice website especially regarding the imso command well I got it finally <laughs> working nicely uh, well, the code is looks pretty horrible. I just my main idea. I took some parts from the examples by which Intel provides for opening and closing and providing the graph and everything to the stick, and then took some from the SqueezeNet example, combined them together, modified it, and tried to speed it up. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff. I noticed the more you put on OpenCV on the Raspberry Pi, the faster it will be able to do like some other image preprocessing. Uh, I think I will put more and more to the open do with the open CV seem to work a lot faster. I mean, not really. This one is really running as much as it can, as fast as it can. It's quite nice and warm already. Uh, but to reduce the delay and the kind of latency of the image processing, as you can see here, as I'm now putting my image in front of the Raspberry Pi camera and removing it. And now uh, you can reduce a lot of that just by how you do the pre-processing. And uh, yeah, I'm still working on that one. But anyway, now it's not using a web camera. It's using Raspberry Pi's own camera. Uh, this is a USB hub. This is used as a swap file to increase some of the memory into some more memory. As with some networks, it really runs out of memory, the Raspberry Pi. So I really would love a version that would have the two gigabytes would be nice or free in memory. Okay, I'm limited a bit by the cables, but uh, let's put it to the uh, computer keyboard. Keyboard, it recognizes it. I think one of the things I will maybe try to do in C next is the tiny YOLO example and see the box is made in the image instead of now it's this one instead have the images in the boxes. I will try to do that in C using the OpenCV and Raspberry Pi on camera. Um, yeah, and maybe with more of the some more more video stick than one. Yeah, but so far the results seem quite promising. I think the majority of the latency and problems here are not due to the stick or other than just my own programming skills and the fact that I haven't really, there's a lot of stuff there that delays the image processing quite a lot. But yeah, I still like this device and I think now with the new version of SDK, there's a lot of updates to different layers that this can handle. So I'm really looking forward to getting more of these sticks and more experimenting with this. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.